Hello and welcome to Water Quality. In this video I'm going to go over the carbonate system. Natural waters, such as those from rivers and lakes, contain carbonates. And the reason that these waters contain carbonates is that there is CO2 in the atmosphere and typically CO2 in the atmosphere has a partial pressure or PCO2 of 10 to the minus 3.5. That's standard atmosphere. And also carbonates come from mineral dissolution in soils. And this would happen in groundwater, for example. And that's from calcium carb carbonate solid. The following four reactions describe the carbonate system in natural waters. The first reaction is a Henry's Law reaction, which describes carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere dissolving into water. And this has a corresponding equilibrium constant here. And we put an H subscript because it's a Henry's Law uh, reaction. We only include this first reaction, we only include if water is in equilibrium with at the CO2, typically atmospheric CO2, gas. Okay, and then the next two reactions, these two, uh, describe uh, carbonic acid, which is a diprotic weak acid, and uh, it's shown here we have CO2 aqueous plus water, which is equal to H2O CO3. We put a star with that. And I like to think of carbonic acid or H2CO3 star as a aqueous CO2 with the water attached to it. In the first weak acid reaction, uh, carbonic acid donates a proton and forms bicarbonate. Bicarbonate can subsequently release another proton and form carbonate. So these are our weak system or weak acid system reactions. And the fourth reaction shows the dissolution of calcium carbonate into its ions, calcium and carbonate. And we only include this if water is in equilibrium with calcium carbonate solid. So this would uh, occur in uh, uh, lakes that have calcium carbonate solids or in groundwater where there's calcium carbonate minerals in the soil. And that's the carbonate system.